to another vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today in this vlog. It's a content vlog, so I'm going to be showing you how I shoot my content in London, and I feel like it'll be a really good vlog. I feel like this is something that has been requested a lot, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Before I get started, I just wanna quickly mention today's sponsor of the video. This video has kindly been sponsored by LMA Paris Cosmetics, which is a new shampoo and hair mask that I've been using for the past couple of weeks. So I thought I'd talk to you guys about it. So they're here with me now. I just think, first of all, the packaging is just so gorgeous. It's very Parisian, very minimal, very luxurious. It looks gorgeous in the bathroom. So this is the Tree Nourishing Shampoo. This is sulfate and paraben free. And then this one is the Forever Shine Revitalizing Mask Extreme Hydration. So this is the hair mask. So I like to use the shampoo first, obviously. Um, and the thing that I love about the shampoo is that it lathers up really nicely so I really feel like I'm cleaning my hair and since using it I feel like less hair falls out in the shower so that's amazing and of course it's really hydrating and then after using my shampoo I go in with the extreme hydration mask I love the smell of this it smells like roses Mm, it's such a nice smell. This one is amazing because it really hydrates your hair I feel like my hair has definitely been more like shinier and healthier after using this You can kind of feel it immediately after washing off your hair just feels so much silkier So I leave this on five minutes and I wash it off So I did mention they don't contain sulfates and parabens and this brand actually uses 35% less synthetic ingredients compared to other brands Which is amazing because you need to be really thoughtful and careful about what you're putting in your hair and I only wash my hair two times a week, which is the recommended amount because it causes like 30% less breakages. So that's definitely something to consider if you are experiencing breakage in your hair. Only wash it two times a week, maximum. So if you do want to try these out, I would definitely recommend them. I do have a discount code, so you can actually get 40% off these products using code NURI40. I will leave all the information for you guys in the description down below. Okay, so I am just going to let you guys continue with the vlog. Today is a content day, so I'm trying to shoot some Instagram content and I have to also do like a ad, so I have to shoot that. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me because I know a lot of you guys have actually asked how I take my pictures or where I go, so I thought this would be a really good vlog for that. Right now we're just setting up to do a reel, like True has this really good idea to do this teleporting reel. It's probably up by the time you've seen this. <laughs> Um, so we're just setting up because we have to shoot a scene here and then we'll shoot a scene in the location But I thought I'd show you my outfit that I'm wearing Okay, so I had to use my like ring lights because the sunshine is not really coming through today But this is the outfit I'm wearing. So I have my Jacquemus shirt. This is new and I absolutely love it I love this like sage green color and obviously the style of it is just a classic um, And then I've styled it with my Zara white leather skirt and my mango mules that I wear with everything. Also, can you see this like mark here? You guys have probably seen it in like my um, like videos, the introductions for the videos that I've been doing recently. It's basically a burn mark. I have spilt hot tea all over me and it's like, it's a really weird mark, but that's what it is. I just thought I'd let you guys know in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna shoot the reel now and then head out and I'll bring you guys with me. So we're in the car now, we're just driving to the location. So basically where we're going now is near Holland Park. Oh, this line is really bad, it keeps changing. Um, so we're, what we do is we go to like Holland, the Holland Park area and then we just like drive around and like find random streets that fit my aesthetic. And right now I'm really going with the whites and the greens and the beige tones. So I'm really like feeling like a pop of green. I love having like the trees in the background and things like that. So I'm gonna try and find a location that has trees. Um, and also I straighten my hair differently today like I basically normally when I straighten my hair I straighten it and then curl it inwards so it kind of has that but today I just straightened it like just straight I'm not sure how I feel about it I shouldn't have taken a risk when I'm shooting content but why do you always try new things when we're no I think it's fine content? I think it looks fine um, but yeah now I always do this but basically I feel like growing my hair out and every time I cut my hair I like it for the first two weeks and then I, I still like it but I then I want to grow it out but then it gets to like a weird length and then I want to cut it short so I don't know what's really going on right now but I definitely do need a trim because I feel like my hair has grown so quick so I have a little 
Starbucks drink. My go-to Starbucks drink is an iced caramel macchiato with oat milk and extra caramel drizzle. It's the best, try it. This is obviously melted a lot, but got my coffee for the morning. And I just hope that the sun is gonna stay out because I rely heavily on the sun for content. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can shooting behind the scenes, but it's so hard when like a true is taking pictures of me and then I have to wait, or like we have to set up the camera somewhere, but then sometimes we park far away and you have to find something to put the camera on. So I will try and like shoot as much as I can. If I don't, I'm sorry. And I feel like this is, might be a very like snappy vlog, like there's just random clips, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. So we just caught a shot, I think. So we're gonna film the reel now with the iPhone. And it's very windy and a little bit chilly. <laughs> okay, so we can't film the reel in this location because it's like become so dark now, like clouds are just in the sky and the lighting is awful. So we're just gonna drive around and see if there's like sunlight anywhere. This is literally <laughs> the life of an influencer. Like you literally have to drive and catch the sun. Um, so we're just gonna drive around and see if there's anywhere that has some sunlight for this reel and then I can get changed into another outfit and shoot that. Okay, so we, I don't know how far I've dated you guys, but basically we shot the reel, we took a picture in this outfit, I've actually taken the other jumper that was on. So now we're driving to a different location to take, oh, there's an ambulance behind. We're driving to a different location to take another picture and I've just tied my hair up for, you know, a bit of diversity, a bit of change. Um, I actually haven't done my hair like this since I had a cut. Basically, I've just like tied it up like that and like left these bits out hanging. I don't know. How do we feel about it? How do we feel about it, True? Is it nice? I like it. He likes it. True likes it, so hopefully you guys like it. But yeah, we're just driving to like a different location just to mix things up a little bit. And then, I'm so hungry, literally just had a packet of these. Little life hack, keep snacks in the car because when you're starving on days like this, when you're like, busy or doing things just pop this in your mouth and you're good to go for another hour or so um but i think after this outfit oh we still have one more two more um not a problem basically sometimes if it's like say if i get two good pictures but i had five outfits like sometimes just the vibe goes and i'm not feeling it anymore so there's no point in forcing it so normally by the third outfit i'm done I feel like I can get three good outfit content and then after that it's a bit of a drag and like the pictures don't bang. Maybe because I'm not feeling it and like I'm tired. But um, I think afterwards, can we go self, are we going selfridges? I want to go selfridges because it's my birthday next month. You're going to hear me keep talking about my birthday. I love my, I love birthdays. Um, it's my birthday next month and I want to kind of like, I have a few things in mind that I want for my birthday but I want to check them out in store. Um, so then I can actually have a proper wish list that I can give to True. Um, yeah, so I just need to like, I want to have a look and also we need to grab some food. So yeah, also the sun keeps like popping in and out, which is really annoying because I'll find the great spot and then by the time I'm taking the picture, the sun's gone. So it's a bit temperamental. Shooting in London is always like this. So I need to get my nails done. Um, Yes, they are ombre. Someone commented on my video asking if it was the lighting or if my nails were different colours. They are different colours because I had to get this manicure done for the Monica Vinader shoot I did about two weeks ago. So um, my nails grow so quick. Like, look how much they've grown out. So I need to get my nails done again, maybe. I was hoping to get it done today. I don't think we have enough time. Okay, so we're at the next location and then we're going to take a picture. Um obviously this this is where i am it's this really cute right and i love this little like black i don't know what you call them but i really like that kind of detail and it's like beige vibes so i'm gonna take a picture in this outfit and then we actually decided we're gonna go to westfield to have lunch and then maybe go to greenwich take pictures so we haven't got time for selfridges because to be fair today was a content day so we're not gonna go selfridges today maybe another day um but yeah i'm just gonna shoot this picture now so we took the picture um we took the picture we took the pictures here so we took loads of pictures, so I'm going to have a look through them and see which ones I like. And while True's driving us to Westfield, zoom, zoom, zoom. 
um, and then we're gonna go to eat some lunch and then go to another location to take some more pictures because today is a content day so we need to make the most of it because it's really hard basically true has a full-time job I have a full-time job so we have to make the most of our weekends and the days that we have off um, to like do things like shooting content so it's quite hectic but then it pays off because during the week I have pictures to post not even um, the weather as well oh yeah and the weather only... like today is the only day in the week that it's not gonna rain so I had to make the like most make the most of that and yeah okay so we're in Havana now I've gone for the rib eye steak fritters and True has the chicken skewers and this is one of my favourite places to eat and if you do come here you have to have this sauce, it's a zingy sauce, it's the best thing ever. Okay so our drinks have just arrived and we went for the passion fruit mojitos and it's two for £10 if you come between five and something, I don't know, it sounds like a sponsored meal like oh if you come this way but it's not and this is the drink. And it's my favourite because it's really like tangy. This is the steak and the salad with cassava fries and just regular fries and this is true chicken thighs which actually looks healthier than mine. Just doing some shopping, like just went to Zara, picked up some bits from Zara, so I'm just having a look at other stories now to see what they have in store. Okay, so I'm back home now and I basically picked up this jumper from Zara and the thing that drew me to it was the colour of it. I really like this green, like olive green khaki colour. I think it's such a nice colour. Um, and it's like a really big, I got a medium, um, really big jumper with big sleeves. And I really love this colour, like this colour is just, I think it's such a gorgeous colour. It suits so many different skin tones. So if you haven't tried this colour, definitely try it. So these are the buttons that they have connected. I just thought it was a really cute jumper. I will leave links to the pieces that I picked up in the description box. Um, and then I'm just going to try it on. I bought a dress and a thing, but I wasn't, I'm not too sure about this one that I'm going to try on. This was kind of like, I saw it and I was like, hmm, could this work? Um, but I'll have to see when I try it on. So I'm going to put that on now and I'll show you. So this is the second outfit that I picked up and it is this high neck jumper this bit keeps like rolling down maybe it's supposed to be rolled down i don't know this high neck like jumper dress sleeveless and it has a matching cardigan so i just thought that'd be really cute and i started it with oh, um i've just started it with these h&m brown knee-high boots this is what it looks like with a cardigan on but i would never just wear it like that because i just feel like it looks a bit frumpy um so i'd wear it like off the shoulder kind of so that's kind of cute when you have it off the shoulder let me know what you guys think of this one. Good morning everyone. I've just woken up. Well that's a lie. I haven't just woken up. I woke up about an hour, an hour or so ago. I've just got up, like washed my face, washed my teeth, ready for the day ahead. Oh look at this mess in the background. Okay let me just cover that. Um, today is such a gloomy rainy day and I hate days like that. Like it actually makes me feel so down when it's gloomy and rainy but my laptop is just going off. Um, but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast burritos because I woke up craving breakfast burritos. I don't know why, because I've never actually had a breakfast burrito, um, but I always see them. So I'm gonna make some. And I thought I would show you guys because I love watching people like making food in vlogs. So I assume you guys like the same. And I know on Instagram, whenever I make food, I always get like um, messages about the recipe. Um, so I'm gonna try and incorporate more like food stuff in my vlogs because I know that a lot of you guys enjoy that. Okay, so this is what I'm using for the breakfast burritos. Um, just got some tortilla wraps, some tomatoes, some turkey, bacon, some vegan sausages. I love these. I'm not vegan, obviously, um, but I love these meat-free sausages. Meat-free? I love these meat-free sausages. They just taste so good. I've got some eggs and I'm just gonna cook these actually and this i'm gonna i love will to like tomatoes that are cooked um so i'm gonna cook these and then just put them in a wrap i'm gonna scramble the eggs but i'll try and show you as much as i can
Okay, so I had my um, burrito. It was really nice. Oh my God, it looks so like... I basically have just been sitting for like two hours just watching TV. There is a massive spider web in my garden. Like in the middle of the garden. I'm going to show you guys. Can you see the spider web? Look how big that is. It just rained. Oh my goodness. It's literally like hanging on the middle of the garden. So I just ordered some bubble tea because I was really craving it and I'm like a bubble tea addict. My bubble tea order from Bubbleology is a passion fruit and cucumber with apple popping boba, grape jelly and tapioca. So I just received this gorgeous coat from Karen Millen. It's part of the um, Lydia Millen and Karen Millen collaboration. And I am going to be shooting this today. Um, so I just need to get ready. I just need to get changed obviously and put some makeup on and then we're going to go and shoot this content it's part of an ad so i need to shoot it and then obviously send it for approval and blah de, blah de, blah so i just did my makeup really quickly and i tried a couple of new products that i got sent like for pr so i just wanted to like i get so so much now like i'm not complaining i love it also my t-shirt is back to front <laughs> okay um but yeah i got i got sent a couple of bits from pr and i thought i would try them out one Doing my makeup and I'm going to talk through a couple of things that I really like. I keep looking at the thing, I really like my makeup, it looks really glowy. One of the things I got sent was this e.l.f. blush. It's a primer infused shimmer blush in the shade Always Cherry and blush is like my favourite part of makeup. I feel like that's, when I put blush on that's when I feel like I'm wearing makeup, like I feel like I just, I'm incomplete without blush. So I was really excited to try this because I love like peachy pink tone blushes. I used a new mascara but only for my bottom lashes. So on my top lashes, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black. My lashes are so bad, like they're basically non-existent because they're so straight. I like, I literally curl them, but my like, they go back flat. So nothing works on my lashes, but um, I'm talking about my bottom lashes. I feel like I just talk so much. Um, so on my bottom lashes, I always like to put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I don't like to use the same mascara that I put on top because I feel like it looks too much. Like it just makes me look scary. Um, and I got this sent this, Pericone, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, Pericone um, No Makeup Mascara, which is a really nice like natural mascara and I love it for the bottom lashes because it kind of just like, it coats it so you can see her bottom lashes but it's not, there's not too much going on so this is literally like the perfect thing and I've been looking for something like this for a while now. Um, but yeah, so this is really nice and I can imagine like this would also be nice for like if you want to put some mascara on like if you're going to the gym, if you just want something on your lashes, this would be a really nice mascara. Um, but what I'm going to do now is basically try on the coat with like different outfits to see which one is best and then go out to shoot. But it's still raining but it keeps stopping and starting so it's a bit of a risky one today. So this is the coat on. Um, and I just popped on my favourite knee-high boots, which are from H&M. I think it just goes best with this because it's in the same kind of colour palette. And I just think this is how I would actually wear it. So I'm going to shoot the picture in this outfit. And I've also put on some sunglasses because I feel like this is... just needs a pair of sunglasses, you know. I've taken off my earrings because I felt like it was just too much going on because you've obviously got this high neck and the collar. So I didn't want to have the earrings because they're a bit distracting. And I feel like with the sunglasses and everything, it's just a really nice chic look. So we are in the car now on the way to Greenwich, which is where I'm going to shoot my picture. And Zayna is with me. You guys all seem to love Zayna in, her, really? in my last vlog. Yeah, you got so many comments. Wow. Um, but yeah, so we're going to shoot. The sun is like out a little bit, but there are so many clouds in the sky. So it's a bit hit or miss. So we'll see if we can get this picture. Picture. We'll see if we can get this picture, hopefully we can. Also, I feel like when I have my hair tied up, I look a bit bold. Can you see the sun? But then also the clouds. So here we have behind the scenes. It's so windy today. Okay, so we're home now and I'm just looking through the pictures on the computer now because they always look different from 
the computer like from the camera to the computer because obviously on the computer like you can see it bigger so I'm gonna have a look through them and then like edit them and all I do to edit them is go on visco and adjust like the lighting and stuff and then I also use facetune if I want to like smooth out any wrinkles on my clothes or like add a little glow or just like fix little bits on there because I know I'll get a lot of questions on the camera that I use this is the Canon EOS 750D. This is a random camera that True bought like a couple of years ago before any of this YouTube blogging thing. He bought it because obviously I wanted to take pictures on my outfits and then we just did that for like, we took two outfit pictures and then this camera got abandoned and then only this year it became alive again when I started my YouTube. Um, it is a really good camera, it's really easy to use. I'm saying this but True's the one who uses it so. <laughs> um, I think it's easy to use. And the lens that he uses is EF lens 50 millimeters 1.8. I'll try and leave something in the link down below to be more helpful to all you tech savvy people watching. Just having a look. So this is for the Karen Millen coat. How gorgeous is it? I love this coat, it's so beautiful. So once I've picked out a picture and edited it, I'll have to send it off for approval to Karen Millen. Send it off to approve to Karen Millen and then once I get approved I can upload it onto Instagram but I honestly love this coat so much I'm so happy I got sent that coat because I, I was actually saying the other day that I needed a new coat and this is literally the perfect autumn winter coat and it's in a neutral colour which you all know is my fave um but yeah that's what I'm doing and then afterwards probably have some dinner make some dinner I'll vlog if I can. Mm -hmm. 